Hey, what's going on everyone? So I'm gonna show you today this temple in a cave. I'm not gonna say the name yet. It's a little hike to get there. It's about an hour from Hua Hin. So let's go check this out. I've been meaning to film it, so let's go. So every place has its own legend and myth, but this cave in particular comes with some bit of history 200 years ago when a local ruler, his first name Nakan, was forced to abandon his ship during a storm and found refuge in the cave. Some historians have put together different ideas of who this person was, but it is said that Nakan, who lived in the region, is from around the 17th century. Now in 1890, King Chalalongkorn the Great, Rama V, loved the beauty, especially the centerpiece of this temple, as it illuminated by the sunlight falling from a circular hole in the limestone ceiling. So if you get to this trail in this national park, which is Sam Roy Yacht National Park, you can go to the cave, I'll put the name below. Praya Nakan Temple. Praya, I can't pronounce it. Anyway, very easy. Once you get here, if you wanna take the boat, 10 minutes around, I didn't even really hike yet. 30 minutes to the top, maybe a little bit longer. And you're right at the cave, gorgeous outside of here crystal blue water there's a restaurant over here showers bathrooms everything so you definitely got to check this place out and we haven't gotten to the best part yet Hey guys, so the temperature right now, 36 degrees Celsius, it's like 97. Tell you what, it doesn't feel like it. I don't feel like it at all. Really nice in the shade. Woo. It's about, uh, I don't know, one o'clock. So let's keep going. So the temple over here is named after a nobleman that is from the Kansi Tamarat and it was built in the late 19th century. So a little info behind here. So this is a no-brainer. You definitely need to check this place out. Again, I'll put the name of the cave down below. Keep messing it up. Nobody here. I recommend coming when it's really hot, right before three o'clock where they don't let anyone in. And you're gonna see something like this. There's probably 10 people in here, but I don't even see them.
So this is a massive cave here. Obviously the ceiling has fallen through, but you can walk around here, bring some beverages, water, and just look around. There's a whole nother area here. I haven't seen another little cave, but like I said, there's two chambers. This is the big one. Temple on this side. Temple's pretty small, but it's very majestic. And you can see the sun shooting right through here. And look at this illuminates the background that's just natural so i'm gonna head that way So this obviously I think is a must see. It's very easy to get to, no more than 30 minutes. But you're if you're at Samroy Yacht National Park, there's two other things not too far away. There's a giant lotus, like a pink lotus lake that kind of is below a bunch of mountains, like a mountain range. And then there's another boardwalk that goes right out kind of into one of the uh, smaller lakes, might be kind of closer to the ocean, but it's all in Samroy Yacht National Park. Highly recommend this whole area.